excited um, in many, many ways um, about introducing uh, introducing Daniel Abbott onto this call now. Daniel Abbott is, we just got back from Malta, Malta with him. Yep, that was the latest trip. Trying to figure out which one was the latest. Um, he's a $150,000 ring earner. He is, I don't know how old he is, but he's the youngest millionaire club member. Um, he's a senior network vice president and for good reason. Now, if you don't have your hands out with a pad and I have, and I think I show people, I have beside my computer, you might not can read that, training notes. So this stays right by me for training notes every time I get on um, a Zoom call. And the reason I um, have these training notes is because of nights like tonight. So Elizabeth was telling me that Darnell Self was getting Daniel Abbott to do three ways for him. And he did three way after three way after three way. Now when Darnell Self is asking you to do three ways for his personal recruits, then you know that he is doing them right and that Darnell has confidence in that. And so you want to learn from the best. Um, and so you want to take notes. I went back um, this week and listened to um, one of our previous calls on, um, uh, on getting someone exposed originally, Steve Hoisington. And that was just a great call. I went back and watched it again. Well, this is going to be one you want to watch. Then you want to get your team on. Then you want to rewatch again because Daniel has so many um, great ideas. Now, we had a blast with him in um, Malta, and uh, he's a getting to be an old friend now. I've known Daniel for a number of years. Hard to believe, and yet, as you will see as soon as he gets home, um, I think he's down in Disney right now with, um, with his family. But he, he is the youngest, made a million dollars. That's not an easy thing to do. Somebody said, oh, you just got to make a million dollars. Well, um, no, most people don't make a million dollars. You know, if they make 50000 a year and most people don't, that takes 20 years. <laughs> so um, this guy's doing it right. So, Daniel, I'm going to turn it over to you. I thank you for taking time from your vacation or wherever you are. Um, I called him a couple of weeks ago and he was, you know, you call somebody far enough in advance, they'll agree to about anything. And so <laughs> I really, really appreciate um, you doing this. I have my pen in hand, my notes in hand. Daniel, take it away. Okay, you're going to have to unmute yourself, Daniel. Um, let's see. It's, I think it's your head. I think it's your headphones, Daniel. You're unmuted on here, but we're getting static. So we think it's your headphones. You're muted. Can you hear me now? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'll uh, I'll do it this way. I'm not going to promise the best audio. I'll, I'll keep trying to uh, go back here. The audio is pretty good. Can you hear me, guys? Now? Yep. Okay. Perfect. It was just it was just the right one. It was just a bad one. I'm a lefty anyway, so the left one's always good. Um, well, thank you, John and Elizabeth. Appreciate you guys inviting me on, and it's always a pleasure to uh, to speak to my legal show family. And, you know, I, I'm just a product of, of my environment. That's what I believe. Um, I was, be, uh, you know, lucky enough to be able to be raised in this company. And, you know, hearing uh, my grandparents do three-way calls when I was sitting in the back seat, sometimes in a car seat, 
not even knowing what was happening, but just picking up little uh, tidbits along the way. And then now being able uh, to do them, as uh, Mr. Gardner said, for uh, the likes of Mr. Self and so many other great leaders across the country. I, again, just believe that it's a product of not, <clears throat> not myself, <clears throat> but this incredible company that I'm able to be a part of, that we're all able to be a part of. So when we're dealing with the three-way call, the first thing that I would put in your notes, any problem you are having in your business, a three-way call can solve, any problem. So whether it's you're not enrolling enough members, you're not you know, closing um, the, the enough members, you know, you're getting people to watch the video, but you're not getting them to your website and getting them enrolled. You're not getting their you know, pen in hand. Maybe you're not closing enough prospects when it comes to recruiting three-way calls. Maybe you're not getting enough people to your briefing. Guess what the answer is? Three-way calls. Whatever the problem is in your business, three-way calls can solve. And it all comes down to the expert. But also with the three-way call, everybody is an expert to somebody who's no, who knows nothing. So that means everyone on the line has been anointed an expert in Legal Shield because everyone on the line knows more than anyone you're trying to expose to Legal Shield. So for example, today I've actually done three different three-way calls for a new associate on my team. One of them was a membership three-way call. So uh, it was an, a lady she just was talking to about the membership and the lady had questions and she said, hey, I, I really don't know, but let me get the, the person on the line. He knows 100% of the information. So I was an expert to somebody who noted, needed some information about the membership. Another one was an opportunity. Right, so she needed some information. Uh, she was wanting, you know, had a couple questions about how, how the business worked, right? How you can go out and talk to some people, make some extra money. She was wanting to know that. Another lady, she was trying to invite to a briefing and I was a three-way call. So three different times I was an expert on three different things. But th those people I was talking to, it was all, <clears throat> excuse me, it was all about the setup. It was all about how the person set the call up for me being the expert. So uh, another thing for all of us on the line is, as we are, you know, the expert when someone's calling us, you know, we also have to know that our biggest task in a three-way call is setting it up properly. Because if you don't set it up properly, it doesn't matter if you have Darnell Self doing the three-way call for you. If it's not set up properly, it doesn't matter who you have on the other line, who your expert is. If you call and say, hey, I'm gonna get my buddy on the line, or this guy that, you know, he, he lives down the street from me, or hey, he, he talked to me about this, I don't know. It's just, it's all about how you set it up. And so what, what you know, just using the word Mr. Gardner, Mrs. Gardner, in, 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 you know, 2019, almost 2020, I would say that majority of the time people do not get called Mr. Gardner. People do not get called Mrs. Gardner. Just saying that alone already puts a significance on this person, right? So it, it's all about how you, how you set it up. So again, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about three-way calls a, a couple different ways. Number one of you being the expert, number one, you setting it up for an expert. So also I done a three-way call today, but I use my new associate who just leveled up the one that I was telling you that I've been doing uh, three three-way calls with her. I used her for a three-way call with one of my prospects as an associate. Now, the reason being is she knows just enough that she doesn't know enough, if that makes sense, right? She knows just enough to tell this lady that knows nothing, right, how she is excited. And that's all I was trying to convey. It was an excitement three-way call is what I call it. So it was something to just get my new prospect excited enough to really watch the video because she had watched it, but she had some questions. Well, how does this work? And I said, listen, it's all in the video. Go back and watch it again and we'll follow up. And she was just, she kept asking me questions. I said, Hey, let me get you on the line with, with her name. Her Natalie, uh, name is Natalie Williams. I said, let me get you on the line with Mrs. Williams, right? Mrs. Williams just got started in our business in less than a week. And she has already got direct deposit in her account over $300. I don't know if I can get Miss Williams on the line. She's very busy. She, she's only doing this part-time. She's a full-time realtor. So I gave her all the accolades. I said, well, let me see if I can get Miss Williams on the line. I picked up the phone. I called Miss Williams and I set up the three-way call. And Natalie, my, my new associate that just got leveled up, she really didn't even, 
she was like, I'm not sure. I, I'm not an expert. I'm not. An, I said, yes, you are. You're an expert. All I'm trying to do is get this lady excited. I just need you to tell her what you have seen inside the world of Legal Shield in less than a week. That's all I need you to say. She spent 30 seconds on the phone and the girl has actually already went to my website and signed up in the past hour and a half that she went and got on that three-way call with her. It wasn't me. It was my new associate exposed a prospect that got started. So it's just, it, it really, you need to figure out your expert list on what you're trying to accomplish. So for an example, you don't want to use a three-way call to invite somebody to your local briefing to, for somebody being the expert that's not going to be at the briefing. Right. So if I know Mr. Gardner is going to be at the briefing, I'm going to use him for my prospect that I'm trying to get to his briefing. Uh, I done this um, again a couple of weeks ago for uh, C.A. Murph out in Vegas. I was coming to do his briefing. He called me to do a three way call with him out in Vegas. Now, he the reason why he done that, he was it was for an associate. Right. So. Again, three-way calls can be used for anything. So this is not just for prospects. Sometimes it's used for associates that are in Legal Shield. They're just not in Legal Shield, right? They sign, excuse me, they signed the dotted line, but they've never showed up to a briefing. They hadn't been to their fast start yet. They hadn't been to a Super Saturday, right? They've signed, they've paid their 99, but they're not necessarily in Legal Shield. So that's another great example to use a three-way call. Hey, I, I'm I'm calling. I'm going to call Mr. Gardner. He's my uh, my expert. I'm using him to confirm an associate for the reason to show up to the to the briefing to the Super Saturday. So again, it's all about how we edify that person, and then again, use it for anything. So um, I was telling um, Natalie Williams today she was having um, was having some trouble. I said, "What are you doing?" She said she'd uh, talk to five people. She said, hey, today I talked to five people and, and I'm texting them, trying to get them to watch the video, but nobody's watching the video. And I said, well, I want you to screenshot me what, what you're sending them. And she screenshot me. It was about a 10 page or a 10 line uh, text message. And she was trying to explain the membership basically, you know, with her exposure, right? We've all, you know, seen new associates and some of us on the line may have done that before, right? And it was a great opening text message. It was just, she was sharing her personal testimonial, the reason why she should use the membership, but she was explaining the membership in her opening text message. So I explained to her, hey, all your job is, is to get them to watch the video. They watch the video and then you call me. You, you have no answers, right? You have no answers. Your answer is to get them to the three-way call. So for an example, uh, you know, Mr. Self was using me for three-way calls and then we were actually going back and forth. I actually used him twice. We were at the, in the um, penthouse in, uh, in Ada, Oklahoma, and I used him twice for a three-way call. He actually uh, closed a prospect for me up there. Um, and that's what kind of go, uh, got us going back and forth. We were trying to see how many three-way calls we could get each other on. So it was a little uh, competition. As you know, some of us like to be competitive in our business. So, uh, I will say, uh, Mr. Self, one he he got me on uh, got me on the phone with more people than I did, but you know that's that's a given when we deal with Mr. Self. But you know, make it fun. You know, to me, three way calls it takes it off me. Um, you know, and something else I wanted to share when when I got started. You know, today it's different for me using three way calls because I know the importance of three way calls today. So when I got started ten years ago, I had even though I knew three-way calls, I didn't understand the importance of three-way calls. I didn't, I thought, you know, um, I could do it. It was me. I, I can close my prospects. They're my friend. It's my, you know, mother. It's my sister. I can do this. I don't need somebody else. I mean, how weird is it? This is what I thought when I was, you know, 20 years old. How weird is it to get some expert on the line with one of my friends? That doesn't, that, that just sounds weird. So what I found is, if I could take it off me and put it on somebody else with my friend, it didn't jeopardize the friendship or the relationship I had with that person. So for an example, when I got started, I used my grandfather all the time for three-way calls. I had a lot of friends that still today have never gotten legal shield, but because we still have a friendship today because I used a three-way call because instead of me trying to pressure my friend or trying to close the cell myself, I threw away called my grandfather and now I'm not asking that person to get in. 
It's the expert is asking the person to sign the dotted line. My, my expert is asking my friend or anything to do the next step, right? It's not me being pushy. It's somebody else that they don't even know that's an expert is being quote unquote pushy. And that's what happened, you know, a couple of weeks ago when we were in the, in the penthouse, I've been trying to close this uh, gentleman that I met and it was actually lived very close to um, Darnell self up in Maryland. I've been trying to close him for over a month and I'd not use a three-way call. I'll be completely honest. So this just goes to show you the power of a three-way call. I had not used a three-way call. He had watched um, the PBO video over 10 times. So we would all say, if you're, you know, a seasoned associate, somebody watches the PBO video completely 10 times, we're like, they're in, right? They're in, they're just not in. If they've watched that entire video over 20 minutes, 10 times, it's almost a done deal. So they, he kept watching it, kept watching it, but I can never get him to my website or get his information where I could sit down and actually sign him up. Within 30 seconds of him being on the phone with Mr. Self and me just turning my phone over to him, Mr. Self put my phone on mute and said, hey, he's ready to go. Here you go. And I was like, are you kidding me? He handed me back the phone and his name was Jonathan. Jonathan said, he said, uh, what do I need to do? What's my next step? I'm like, I've been trying to sign you up for the past month. You've watched the video 10 times. Like what, what I'm, I'm thinking, and that's what I told Mr. Self, like, what did you say that I didn't? He said, I didn't say anything. You probably didn't. I just, he, he respected me more because you edified me. You, you had never been edified by anybody to Jonathan. You had tried to prospecting. So you had no, you had no, um, you know, authority, I guess you could say, right? You had no clout, so to speak, from this person. But because I built Mr. Self up, oh my gosh, you know, it's easy to build Mr. Self up. But as an associate on the line, it's easy to build anybody up that's an expert, right? I can build up Nick Odom as, you know, the, the biggest, baddest person in Legal Shield to somebody that knows nothing, right? I can, I can build anyone up. You give me just, you know, a couple, give me 30 seconds with you and let me learn a little bit about you. And I can use you as my expert on a three-way call. Just because of this knowing a couple key pieces of information and three-way calling you to somebody, again, who knows nothing, it's all about, you know, getting someone on the line with, with, that I edify. So my last thing I want to talk about as being, is it being an expert? Because I just said, anybody on this line can be an expert. So as you're doing three-way calls for your team, we have to understand the um, significance and the importance of being an expert on a three-way call. Because it is our job to move that person to the next level. And, you know, for some people that's different. So we need to make sure that we understand. And that's what Mr. Self asked me. And I asked him the same thing that night. We were going back and forth. I said, hey, you know, what are you trying to accomplish with this, this three-way call? Are you trying to get them signed up? Are you just wanting to become a member? Are you wanting to sign up as an associate? Are you trying to get them to a briefing? You know, what is the goal? So as an expert, that's your first, that's the, always the first question that I ask anybody that I get on a three-way call with when they're trying to, you know, use me as the expert. My first question is, what's your goal on this three-way call? What are you wanting me to get accomplished for you on this three-way call? It, it, you know, is it signing them up as a member, associate, whatever? So that's my first question. And then I'm all in my head, I'm always trying to move the person I'm talking to towards that goal. And if I spend more then two minutes on the call, I'm losing that person. I want to spend usually around 60 seconds, right, to like 180 seconds, like a minute, a minute and a half is the max I want to spend on a three-way call, right? It's just real quick. It's because they've already, they've already been edified, right? So I've already been edified. I don't need to rehash my story because the person who introduced me, who edified me, done all that. So I don't need to rehash that. My job is to go, hey, you know, what, you know, what, what have you looked at? Oh, you looked at the video. Well, what'd you like best? Oh, you like, you like the money. Well, me too. You know, when I was, when I first got started, I, you know, I saw the money and I was just looking for an extra couple hundred, you know, a couple hundred dollars a week to a thousand dollars a month is all I was looking for, for a broke college student. And maybe that was you. And I hope you can see here how you can make a couple extra hundred dollars like I did when I got started. Right. So it relates back to me. And then it's like, Hey, what is it going to take to get you started? Right. It's always, you know, it's always getting them to that next step 
of whatever I'm trying to accomplish. So you make sure as an expert that you're doing the job for your new associate or for whoever you're trying to do that through a call for. So, you know, hopefully we all are going to be doing more through a calls because, you know, right now with a PC push, again, you want to know the answer to get to getting PC push done through way calls, right? I mean, again, anything you want to accomplish, it, it's sometimes um, frustrating to me, I would say that, um, three-way calls are the answer for everything because it's so simple. It, it's one of those things we've all heard in our business. You know, sometimes it's so simple to do. It's just simple not to do. Um, and as we get more seasoned in our tenure and as we collect uh, accolades in our business, we start thinking we don't need three-way calls, right? We don't need to do three-way calls. I can do it all myself. And I can promise you, Anytime you start moving that way mentally and thinking, you're thinking the wrong way. And you will significantly see signups, associates, and ultimately your income drop because you're worried about what everybody thinks about you versus doing the thing the right way, which is three way calls. So I appreciate uh, you, Mr. Gardner, for allowing me to come on. I hope I've given you guys a couple nuggets of you know, really how important three-way calls is, and especially this time of year, because right now we are in a critical time you know, to start 2020. You don't need to be thinking about closing out 2019, right? Closing out 2019 has to be the farthest thing from your mind. You need to be thinking about jump-starting your 2020. And if you wanna jump-start your 2020, it's getting new associates started right now. You get new associates started right now, get them some income between now and Christmas, now and the first of the year. I promise you, January 2020 is going to be way better for you than waiting for January 1st, 2020. Because if you wait for January 1st, 2020, you're going to be waiting to February to reap the reward. You're going to be waiting till March to reap the reward. So, you know, get in, you know, the harvest, you know, get in the, the field, get your hands dirty, right? Get your feet dirty, get out and talk to people and use three-way calls to close your prospects, you know, the right way, and you're going to get them in your business quick, quicker than what you would you trying to do it on your own. So thank you very much, Mr. Gardner. I'll turn the call back to you, sir. Well, Daniel, I just, I, I, I want to thank you for coming on. And I think this is for everyone on here. Uh, you know, I, Daniel, how old are you? I'm 32. 32. Okay. You're not, but. 35 years younger than me. So. <laughs> <laughs> but we act the same age. We act the same we age. We act the same age. <laughs> That's exactly right. And, and, and thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nick. So, you know, this business works for everybody. And it's simple. And it's not about what you do. It's about you learning the process of getting others on to close for you. And so if your business is slowed down, then you just simply need to learn how to introduce yourself to people real quickly and then set up a three-way call. Um, uh, Daniel, can I ask, this Elizabeth, can I ask you one question? Just, you know, people love to know what to say. So let's say you're doing a three-way call and I tell you, you know, Daniel, this person's watched the video. Um, let's say I'm in the exact same position you were. They've watched the video. I just can't get them to close. Tell me what you say on that call to get them to the next step, which is to sign up. Yeah. So I, I first ask what they like best about the video. And usually they, and I find out 10 out of 10 times, they've probably already been asked that question. And sometimes I'll find out after talking to the person that, you know, got me on the three-way call, they give me a different answer than they gave them, but they yeah. still give me an answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And whatever that answer is, I a hundred percent agree with them. Right. So I use the feel felt found method, right? I, I, I feel the same way, you know, and I always, and because I've been in this business long enough, and most of you, the great thing with social media and the, everything we have at our fingertips today, we all have stories, right? We collect stories and I relate them to a story. And sometimes it's my own story. Sometimes it's a story that I've heard that I can relate back to this person 
and I can say, hey, you know, this person felt the exact same way, but here is what they found. You know, I found at 20 years old, about or 22, about to graduate college, that I was not going to, the future that I saw was not bright enough for me, right? So when I left college, started working full time, and now, I, when I first started, I'll tell everybody, I was only making a couple thousand dollars a month, right? But it was, it, it was really part time. And today, able to earn over $15,000 a month, you know, with the same business. And I look and I look around and there's not people at my age are not making $15,000 a month, right? People uh, my age are not hanging out at Disney World for a week, right? So I always use the feel, felt, found method. And then I, I relate it back, you know, did the per and I always ask, I said, hey, did the person send you their website? I always ask, did the person send you their website? Did they send you your sign up link? And they'll say yes. And I said, let me get you directed to that sign up link. And I'll, and I'll actually sit on the phone sometimes. I've done this twice with my new lady, Natalie. Um, I waited on the phone until the person went to their website and they said, yes, I'm there. And I said, hey, and I walked them through the website. And again, this was my new associate. So I felt a little more hand holding had to be done. And, you know, so, so for, for me, when I'm, when I know it directly, you know, affects her income, which directly affects my income, I'll do, I'll go a little above and beyond to help that new person make sure, Hey, I will be there every step of the way to, you know, be there to guide you to get to that website. And then I'll go through, Hey, this is where you put your information in. So I'm always relating it back to that website and back to the app. And, um, you know, so to me, that's, I, again, it's something that is not new. You probably all heard that same thing I just said, but it works. And so to me, I'm like, I'm not going to buck the system. Some of you may have uh, something that you think, you know, feels better for you, but I promise what works, works. And it works every time. What? So you're, you're just assuming the sale, hey, did they send you the link? Well, yeah, let me walk you through that. You're just taking them right to the close. Yes, and I find, again, most of the time, I, I would say, um, 80 something, I would say probably 80, 90% of the time, most people will not buck the expert. But if I was, you know, if I'm calling Nick, who Nick is my friend and I say, Hey, Nick, pull up your website. You know, that, that link I sent you, pull that up and let's fill it out. Nick will go, Oh, I'm not at my computer. Um, no, not right now. I'm busy. I'm hanging out with friends. I'm playing video, whatever it is. Like they come up with a hundred different excuses. But if it's an expert, they're like, whoa, 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 right? It's all about like letting me figure it, like, yes, let, let me go there and see what, what you're talking about. Because again, it goes back to the setup. It's whoever set the call up for me. If they done it the right way and they edified me the right way, I have all the power. I had a, a friend of mine in college that used to talk about, you know, the pen was mightier than the sword. We've all heard that before. And, you know, you get a pen and you go around and, you know, it's not, now it's not necessarily the pen, it's the phone. The phone <laughs> is mightier than anything, right? Because if I get them on the phone and I'm the expert, I can get them, I feel like, to do whatever I want them to do. It's just asking them to do it. And it takes the pressure off my, my new associate that they're not asking their best friend to sign up. It's me. I'm the one asking them to sign up, not that new person. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted you to say. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> And, and Daniel, thank you so much for, for coming on tonight. Elizabeth, anything else before we can let him go and, and move on we, as, as Nick would do? We really appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, we, we so appreciate you coming on and don't have too much fun at Disney. You know, you do have to go back next month. So try not to have too much fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I'm breaking it in for everybody. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> you, find, right. you find the best, shortest cut. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Daniel. And congratulations you, on your new ring. Thank you. Appreciate you so much. Thank you. All guys. right.